here? All right. All right, then I will come closer to you so I can do the clicking. So my name is Emil Landworth. I'm a full-time multitasking ninja, also known as program manager at Microsoft. I work on the .NET team. Uh, with me today is uh, David Keane. He works on the Roslyn team. He's a developer there. And apparently he thinks we are uh, kind of like two magicians because uh, he doesn't want to do the talking, so that's why I'm here. Um, I'm actually not working on his product, but I have opinions on his product. Like I'm a professional <laughs> opinion dispenser. Lo lots, I'm... Of, lots of opinions, yes. Yes. So what we are going to talk about is like the editing experience of project files in Visual Studio. And you may know that you obviously can edit projects in Visual Studio, but the whole point is that you want to do it in your favorite text editor as well. And um, yeah, so let's go to the next slide. You probably know this problem, which is you have this XML goo in your ginormously large project files. And editing this by hand, you can kind of do it, um, but the problem is as soon as you want to write it from scratch, you're basically screwed. There's no way you can do this by hand. And then um, let's go on the next slide. Let's still do it though. Let's actually come up with a way to do it. So what we're going to show you today is like very, very early bits. So I think lightning talks are not referring to the amount of time you have. I think they refer to the amount of time you have to prepare the talk. So the whole thing is basically hacked together since yesterday. So keep in mind that almost everything we're talking about and we're showing you today is probably going to change at some point. But you get a preview and a sneak peek in the kind of things we're thinking about and how we want to improve the product. So that's what you have today, like this enormously large XML. It doesn't really matter whether you can read it. But the point is you have seen this many times before. So the first thing you want to do is like make this XML a bit more bearable, right? Remove the freaking namespace, remove the freaking XML prolog. Remove the XML. <laughs> we're getting there, we're getting there. All right, then we can do a bit more cleanup. Uh, like for example, we can remove the boilerplate that tells you what to do. We can actually have smarter defaults so we have less properties in that thing. Uh, we can remove all the Visual Studio configuration goo that you don't really care about. And then who likes project GUIDs and project type GUIDs? Raise your hand. <laughs> right, nobody likes them, so it gets rid of them as well. Um, so we, we just checked that change in yesterday. So That's cool. So we cannot really bake it out anymore, right? Um, and then there's like a few more things we can do, like clean up the other thing. So let's just compare this thing. This is what we have today. This is what we think oh. we end up having. And uh, you know, it's not very like you know, not XML. There's still some XML there, but I think it's like maintainable XML. You could actually write this by hand. And so Dave will now walk you through a few more things where you can actually edit that file live while VS is running and basically observe how this whole works. Uh, uh. Yeah. What's the mirror key? Yeah, we're not good at using Windows, apparently. <laughs> OK, uh, so side by side here, I've got VS and uh, VS Code. I've got this uh, project that I wrote called Audio Switcher that lets you switch audio devices easy. Um, I just opened it up in VS Code over here. and. Um, I was going to convert it to WPF, and I love WinForms, so I said, oh, well, let's just get rid of this. So I just removed the references, save, and VS refreshes, no <laughs> project prompt. OK, then we've got these giant compile items here. Isn't this Yeah, fun? who loves resolving merge conflicts when two guys add a file that starts with the same prefix? It's awesome, right? OK, so let's remove that. Um, instead of that, let's add this here. OK, so I'll save the file again. OK, VS picked it up automatically. It also picked up this file here that um, I must have checked in. One minute, yep. Let's just delete this, save the project. No changes on the other side. Yep, so we fixed that bug. <laughs> that was not a bug. <laughs> that was a lot of work. Um, and you know we can just reset the branch and everything goes back and VS just picks it all up. No more project work. prompts. All right, can you really go quickly back to slides? Okay. 
So if you want to talk to us more, like we will be downstairs at four, uh, at table four, so you can ask any questions you always wanted to ask about .NET and all the other things. I, yeah. I think there's other people there as well. Yeah. Thank you very much.